Now to our other top local story tonight, teachers left unpaid. Eyewitness News has learned that several Woonsocket teachers who have direct deposit did not receive last week's pay on time. They have since received their checks, but it wasn't until the school department had to borrow funds to make payroll. Eyewitness News reporter Danielle North is live in Woonsocket now with more on our top local story. Well, this pay delay came at a very bad time because city taxes are actually due today. We did speak with the mayor tonight, and he tells us he is now going to change the way the school department receives its funding allotment so that this does not happen again. Good afternoon, Mayor Fontaine's office. When Socket teachers began calling the mayor's office on Friday looking for answers after they didn't see their paychecks from the school department posted to their accounts. It was uh, really a, a timing issue that came up and we did our best uh, to, to transfer the money over and uh, but it was just a matter that it was was too late for that initial processing. Mayor Leo Fontaine blames it on a big cash flow problem. The school department realizing too late that it couldn't meet payroll obligations last week. At the end of the fiscal year you get to a point where you, you've basically expired all of your the funds that you've had available and uh, so the end of the year is always a very difficult time. But now that the new fiscal year has begun, tax payments are now being made to the city. Fontaine is now planning to put the school department on a regular monthly allotment schedule to prevent any future payday delays. We have to understand, as, as difficult as it is for us financially, these sorts of things don't play out well with the bond rating agencies. Banks are not going to want to do business with us. Vendors won't want to do business with us. These are things that we have to avoid at all costs. Now, the school department is projecting a $3.6 million deficit. They're going to be meeting with the State Department of Administration tomorrow to discuss the department's finances. We, of course, will keep you posted. For now, we're live in Woonsocket with the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom. I'm Danielle North, Eyewitness News.